Thanksgiving is on its way, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make a special charcuterie board with a personalized knife and fork for a Thanksgiving prep. We are grateful to our parents for bringing us into this world and we appreciate the love we receive from our friends and lovers and Thanksgiving dinner is a great moment to show our gratitude so let's do something special for it At the same time, you can also run your small business by making some customized gifts during the holiday season So here are the things we will need for today We got a laptop and D1 Pro 20 watts honeycomb and goggles to protect your eyes knife and fork and charcuterie board Let's start with the engraving charcuterie board. So firstly, put your board on the surface of your honeycomb. But if you don't have a honeycomb, it's okay. Just grab a stainless steel board underneath to protect your table. Let's set the laser focus now. You want to put the setting bar down and loose the screw and slowly move the laser module until the tip of the setting bar touches the surface of your board. And then fix it. You remember to put the setting bar back. Measuring the focus is paramount for using D1 Pro. Otherwise, your laser module wouldn't work perfectly on engraving, and the engraving results will be blurry. And sometimes there's even, even no trace at all. And next, we're gonna make sure your charcuterie board aligned with the plate. You don't wanna do this way or this way. Just make sure this one is parallel to the frame. Next, we carry out engraving positioning. That's gonna determine where we're gonna start to engrave. So firstly, turn on the switch. And then you will see the red cross on the surface. So normally we're gonna start from the top left, but in this case, you wanna ensure the pattern is right in the center of your board. So you can just slowly move the red cross right in the center. But how to find where's the center? There's one tip for you. Move down a little bit to the other side as this area is a little bit smaller which is easier for you to find the middle of the board and slowly move back. Okay, the D1 Pro is set up. Now connect to your laptop and then we move over to the software XCS. Firstly, let's open X2 Creative Space. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> let's find the project center. There's so many amazing projects for you to choose. Let's choose this Thanksgiving one, the cutting board or charcuterie board or cheese board. You can name it whatever you like. And hit the start. There you go. Let's move this one to the center. And first, the thing you need to do is connect your laptop to the D1 Pro and choose the laser flat. And we're gonna do user defined material engraving. We're gonna set the power at 100%. We're gonna run at 250 millimeters per second for one pass and 100 lines per centimeters. And this area, just make sure the sharpness and grid scale is full because the default is not full. So everything seems all right. Let's hit the process. And here's the thing I like to emphasize. You need to scroll down and choose. We're gonna start from the middle of the board. Yeah, three minutes. Hit the button. Yeah, it looks pretty fine. And complete the framing. And hit the start. And push the button. The charcuterie ball engraving is finished. Let's check out how it is. Move the laser module. Wow, I mean, look at this. The lines are pretty fine, aren't they? I mean, the turkey is adorable, isn't it? So the next one, we're gonna engrave on knife and fork, and we can just put our family member's name on it. For example, your father's name, your mom's name, or your children, your grandparents, the people you love. Let's just do it. Okay, let's adjust the focus. As you can see, this fork is not even. Some part is a bit lower, and some part is a bit higher. So just make sure you want to set the focus on the part that you wanna engrave. So we're gonna, we're gonna engrave on this area. Same story, put the setting bar down and lose the screw. It's 
tighten it and put this one back. Okay, the last thing you want to do is make sure the red cross is right in the center of the area you want to engrave. It's all good. Okay, let's go back to the software. As you can see, there's two sheets down there. So now let's choose the knife and fork one. Melinda. Uh, the same story, the same process. Everything is set up for you. And make the sharpness full. And then we're gonna put the process. The same step, and framing it. Push the button. Yeah, looks fine. And then hit start. Okay, the fork for Melinda is complete. Let's check it out. Look at this. If your name is Melinda, I hope you're having a great day. It's very beautiful. Wow, that looks so cute for Thanksgiving dinner. And you can engrave Melinda on a knife in the same method as well. You see the pattern here. So if you want the color a bit deeper, just increase the power and slow down the speed. But if you want to engrave a little bit shadower, just reduce the power and increase the speed. So D1 Pro, it doesn't matter the larger area or the small area, it can perfectly engraving and cutting the materials like this. It looks so fancy and so personalized for your friends, for the people you love, also for your small business. Okay, so the Turkish charcuterie board is ready and we have Melinda's fork and knife. So we're gonna put some cheese and meat on it, make it like a platter. So anyway, you can use D1 Pro to engrave on plates and glasses. I'll make some wooden decorations for your Thanksgiving day. It's going to the end, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I hope you have a lovely, lovely Thanksgiving dinner with the people you love. Happy Thanksgiving!